Okay. Examine the cans. Empty oil cans on the floor. A large oil pan filled with lugs and bolts. Okay, now we go upstairs. Aha! Uh -huh. We found the Tucker, boys. That's what we find here. Examine the flashlight. Examine the mallet. Oh, can we grab the gas, the gas canister? Tampon on the valve, maybe? Do I still have? Valve? Oh, the valve from earlier? No. Oh, it's a fucking pitchfork. Okay, now we have a new weapon. We got a fucking pitchfork. Sick. Dolly can only be used after wedding? Okay, so now we have to scratch this. Let's use the screwdriver. Or we could use the key. Did it. What the fuck? Why does it skip that shit? Okay, so we got it. We got the fucking scratch on there. Whatever. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything before I leave. Because it would suck to have to come back over here. Surely they're not... They don't want me to grab any of this stuff. Or else they would let me have... They would have let me grab it by now. Okay. We're out of here. Should I use the screwdriver? Screwdriver next to the flashlight? Was it? Oh shit. Yes! Okay. Now we can free dad. That's good. There's a nude poster on the desk. Might want to stop looking there. I didn't even notice it. Get the fuck out of here, boys. Hooligan hours are over. Okay. Okay, they're they're sleeping. Your house. Alright, Dad. I'm coming to free you. Fuck. This is your first arrest. Okay, okay, I'm fine. It's just my first arrest. It's not a big deal. We could we we could get away with one arrest. I I literally got arrested for trying to break into my own house. Skipped it? Oh, you wanted to see the kiss? Sorry. The barber shop at night? How the fuck do you how the fuck am I going to get into there? I don't think I'm supposed to go in there right now, but let's find out if I am. No, I don't. I'm definitely not. I know for a fact I'm not. Cemetery at night? What makes you guys think that something's going to happen at the cemetery at night? Because it's a cemetery? I'm pretty sure all I'm supposed to do is just talk to the guy. <gasps> Mr. Potsdam! What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? I'm burying our cat. She passed away and I'm burying her. 
Go away and mind your own business. Then, where's the cat? I... I left her at home. Now leave me alone! This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what to do here. Sus. There's something on the ground there. Ooh, matches. Alright. Should we fuck him up? Now we bury you. I'm pretty sure that's bad ending. You're not supposed to do that. I'm I'm Dude, that's my fucking that's my girlfriend's dad. I don't think you're actually supposed to do that. This kind of Maybe I am supposed to kill him. I actually don't know. You can't lube the bat. Take a picture? Oh, smart chat. It's a smart chat. This kind of. No. I kind of want to kill him, but I just don't know. Come back later and dig it up? Oh, yeah, that's true. What the fuck? That's so smart. Good. Good thinking. <laughs> Give him the autograph. Hey, dude. No one wants the. Oh, fuck, the matches. You're right. No one wants the goddamn autograph. Well, that didn't work. We could dig it up later, you're right. Smart. Lube the autograph. Alright. So, you have completed your first task. Now that you've scratched the tucker. Okay, I'm gonna you play for another hour. To your second task. And then I'm going to go you do cozy stream. A bolt of I might finish this game tomorrow. And bring it to me. Or maybe I'll play it on Halloween. That doesn't sound so bad, I'll do it. What did he say he wanted? I was talking. Oh, fuck. Okay. Bolt of fabric from the firefighters. Okay, I know what I must do. Okay, first we grab a newspaper. I leave. Am I doing Project 30 or your VR chat lobby? We have a special event tomorrow that... I have to do that. I, I, I am not going to cancel that. I worked really hard on that. See how easy it is? Things are so much... Alright, so he's not gonna fuck me up. And then we go to the Potsdam residence, because it's a new day. Didn't the costume show get cancelled? Okay, I should probably let people know that it's not cancelled. Um... At here, assuming that everything works tomorrow, we will not cancel the Halloween fashion show. If everything is fucked, we will reschedule, but hopefully not. Okay. Because if we don't do it tomorrow, we have to do it the day... We could do it Friday, but I don't stream on Saturday. So... Unless I do a special stream on Saturday for Halloween. I don't know, we'll see. 
Okay, let's go visit. Make a test lobby before stream? Yeah, you're right. Okay. No promises, but maybe. We'll see what Stephanie wants to do. Steve. It's so good to see you again. I get so lonely in here. What's up, I'm Stephanie? sorry. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. I'd rather forget about Harvest for a while. Come here. Stephanie? I feel so close to you, Steve. Like we're the only two people in Harvest. The only two real people. Do you know what I mean? Wait, did it skip it? I need to feel something again. I don't think it's skipped since it. I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Yeah. Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so I don't much think, as we recall I mean, the I'll, feelings deep I'll inside. check, but I didn't click anything. The, the game's just been really buggy. Maybe the body has its own memory. Well, I don't want to miss That's on any content. Oh. I want you to make love to me. Yeah, sure, I guess. Take me now. Listen, guys, be mature, right? I don't think there's actually any nudity in this game. This motherfucker, dude. Chad, be mature, right? Come on now. <laughs> this motherfucker, dude. That's what you guys were all worried about? Alright. Go back, I missed it. Okay. Um, let's continue. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so we gotta get the firemen. Um, should we go see if we could dig up that hole he made? Let's go check. What the fuck? Thank God I found you. Are you alright, Karen? I want to go home. Could you take me to my mommy's She store? survived there all day? The policeman? Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. He won't do anything, I promise. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please. I just want to go home now. Please. Can you tell me your address, honey? I don't know. Just take me to the store or the policeman. Please. Mommy said to go to she the looks like, like if I got Mary lost. Kate and Ashley type B. I'm lost. Bye bye. Okay. All right, here we go. Killing him was the right call, I think. No, I think if I killed him, I'd go to jail and die. I'm gonna take her to the diner, because that's where she lives. Here we go. Oh my God, Karen. Thank God, what happened? 
found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. <gasps> Thank you, Steve. Thank you from both of us. Here. Here's the reward money. Take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. Some money. Thank you. Thank you very much. How much money you give me, huh? How much money you give me? Where is the money? Oh, there it is. Reward money. Okay, sweet. You know what I love? I love money. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend that money. How much money, though? It doesn't actually tell you, but we can find out. I should cover it. These 1950 prices are cheap. Take what you need. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now we have a wrench. Slightly used. Electrical... Black electrical tape. Use. Cans of soup. Yeah, it doesn't want me to take anything else. That ashtray. Alright, Moondog669. Think of the primer. Alright, we got everything. Here we go. Talk to her? What the fuck is she, what, what do I want to talk to her for? I gotta free my dad. Alright. Here we go. It's not nighttime, so... It should be okay now, right? No one's got an alarm on during the... Wait, where's the screwdriver? There it is. I'm dead. I don't want to get arrested twice. I'm sexually attracted. Don't skip. Fine, I'll let you guys. This is your second. Lafranchi, thank you for the three months up. Wait, my second arrest? I'm in jail? I've never been in jail before. Okay, so he only kisses you your first time. Do I really have to spend time in jail? Okay, I don't want to be in jail. So let's get the... Let's get the fuck back over here. I know the answer for the window. I'm assuming we have to somehow disable the security. Nighttime, maybe? No, no, no. We tried at nighttime. What's here again? Well, it's nothing here. Okay, let's see what's going on in this house. Hello, Stop dear. By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson, and he's livid. Seems <sighs> someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. Fuck. If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mother. I wonder why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for... What happened to her? What a silly little girl. I believe her. Shame on you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? I don't think so. Fuck range Why rider. Okay, Weisenheimer. Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. Can you? Jesus Christ. 
Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Yeah. These cookies are hot out of the oven. I want some cookies, dude. God, some cookies sounds so nice right now. I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that? Oh shit, maybe I could use the medicine on the dad. Okay. I need to find a way to fuck this shit up. What, this crack in the ceiling? Shit, dude. You see a vent? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm not gonna fly up there. Cut the power? No, I don't think so. Glowing red lights behind the china cabinet? Wait. You're right. But how do you move this? You're right. But how the fuck do you move it? Not with a wrench. Oh man. You need something to move it. I'm not gonna. There's no more loot. I don't think you grabbed the furniture dolly out of Mr. Johnson's garage. I couldn't. It said you can't use it until um. Until after your wedding or some shit. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Use the bat? No, I don't actually think you're supposed to carry the oh, dolly man. around. So use it for the... I don't think that's what it is. I don't think I'm supposed to kill the kid either. Hmm. The kid doesn't want the autograph, no. I've already offered him it. Yeah, what, Steve? It says big whoops, D. I mean, okay, I could see. Okay, let's let's go back to the Potsdam residence, or not Potsdam residence, but the uh, uh, Johnson residence. We'll go back in here, right in front of him. Oh, you can't go in there anymore. Oh, you, I can just walk right in? He doesn't care? Okay. Um, oh, you can grab it. Okay. I swear I didn't think I was able to grab it last time. How do I exit now? Okay. Well, now we know. Okay. So now, we got what we need. Wait, wrong house. Fuck! Wrong house again! I keep accidentally clicking it. Okay. My house. Okay, here we go. Remove this. Turn it off. Why the fuck is it skipping it? Okay. Here we go, boys. We. Nice. Let's free the dad.
Okay. Let's uh figure this out fast. Save? Okay, I'll save. Um bad two. Okay. Steve. Is that you? Come to see your poor old dad? Yes. Are you my father? Really? I don't remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just don't make me laugh now. Remember the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? Does she? No. No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that special father-son talk. Especially now that you're getting married. Uh... Let's find out. <laughs> And listen, I can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. Okay. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks. Okay. <gasps> Fuck. Then they take off their clothes and get out. A wide variety of scalpels. Some curved. Jesus. And then the man climbs on the woman. And then they... With the barbed wire, they... Jeez. Yeah. It's all right. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason for risking it. I, I risked it all for Dad. Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Good old dependable Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Holy fuck. He's the only normal one in town. Um, okay, before we leave... Okay, so we have the sign me can we give him any of the medicine? I don't have time to look at your collection of stuff. Leave now. Um uh, tampons? I don't have time. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay. We got out of there. I'm I don't have lube, guys. Okay. Here we go. Give him the signature? Well, we're going to the meat company now. Let's go to the meat plant. Put the bars back on the window? I don't think you can. All right, here we go. Give him the signed meat permission slip. So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? Uh, Alright, chat. Choose your own adventure. The psychotic bitch has him sliced to ribbons or he's recovering nicely. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new okay. shipment of animals has come in and it's time to start cutting. Okay, he doesn't care. Can't talk now, Steve. I've got to hose out some entrails. All right. Don't be such a stranger. Kill him? I don't think I'm supposed to. Okay. Here we go. Um. Where do we leave off? We got the meat. The meat's probably going to go <gasps> to the dog. Yes. 
Or maybe not yet, right? We probably should save it. Stop it! You're messing me up! Hello, Steve. Lovely day, isn't it? Still sketching the same nude man, I see. It doesn't behoove one to be fickle. Besides, once you find a perfect model, you don't let him go. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Save. Alright, let's see what happens if I get the meat to the dog now. Can I start a fire somewhere? Yeah, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, wow, did I just use the meat on the dog now? That actually did nothing. I, I think I think I have to save it for later. I think it's actually important. Why is it skipping? I don't know. Should I do it again? Here, hopefully it doesn't skip this time. I don't know why it's skipping. I spaz click? No, I don't. I'm not double clicking. I am not double clicking. Yeah, there, I mean, I literally took my hand off the fucking controller. Like, or off the fucking mouse. I... But I have to use it later anyway. Or that might just be the whole animation. Um, here's what I assume. If we want to start a fire, we need a fire starter. And what do we give a fire starter? That interests me not at all, young man. What? The fire starter doesn't want the fire? Sorry, son. No time to talk. What's button? What button? Oh. It's been missing for months now. I keep meaning to get another, but, well, the button's very distinctive. I'd have to file an S-411 with Washington to get another, and I just don't need the extra paperwork. Okay, Next fine. time you post. Never got your get-out-of-jail-free card? I don't want to. I don't want to get on this bad side. I'm probably just not going to get arrested. Give meat to the father-in-law? No, 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 no. The meat's supposed to go to that dog, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay, let's think logically. The barber shop is way later, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's go to the school. Seeing you here again, one would think you'd never grab. Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils scratched his priceless tucker. I must say, I was relieved when I learned he had no evidence pointing to one of my kids. If he had, some lucky boy or girl would have been in for some quality time. Jesus say, God. congratulations on finding Karen Fitzpatrick. He's just thinking me on everything. Don't know how you did it, but if I were still publishing the Sentinel. You can bet I'd run a full profile on you. Thank you. Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing. As is adult... Is that the father-in-law? Well, uh, okay. I could do that. Oh. Okay. He didn't care that I just did that? How do I get out of here? I can't leave. Why is there no exit? I just pushed it. Click the sign? Oh, okay. Okay, so since I pushed that, maybe they won't be there anymore, right? Uh-huh. And what do we have here? A fire axe? Yes, sir! Okay. 
But I can't enter. Ooh, a ladder, too. Yeah, a ladder could be very useful. Uh, how do we enter? The ladder? The ladder on what? Use the fire axe to break down the door. It's the only real solution. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Let's walk close first. Left middle window? Can I walk into here? Stop telling me to lube things. I don't have any lube. There's a hole in the window? If I can't examine it, then I can't interact with it. Oh, what's this? I mean, I... Well, that didn't work. Is there like a... Okay, let's see. Is there anything else in here? What do we get? We got a ladder and what else? A fire axe. I could arm it. Oh, that's sick. Can I break a window? No, you can't even click the windows. Try climbing up to the window with the ladder? I tried that already. You, you just, you simply well, cannot well, use the ladder oh, here. Man. Damn it. Well, that didn't oh, work, oh, man. Okay. I don't think that's it. Maybe I'm not supposed to get in here yet. Maybe I was just supposed to get those items. And that was the whole point of that. There's a big door on the left. Huh? Door? Bottom level metal plate? Bottom... Bottom left metal plate? What, this thing? This thing's nothing. I don't think I'm supposed to be here anymore. I think I'm just done here. Maybe I was just supposed to grab those things for now. Climb the roof and get the frisbee off? Okay, I'll, I'll try that. Oh, Nightfall Descends Upon Harvest. Okay. That means we did something right. Nighttime is when you do the bad things. Like, it's always at nighttime. Which means we probably have to return at night. But I kind of want to see if I can get that thing off my house. Okay, ladder. Damn it! Oh, okay. well that didn't work. Well that didn't work. Well yeah. that didn't work. Good time. Good thinking though. That disc is just never leaving. Can you bring that song back? Sure. All right. I think Hooligan Hours is gonna be right here, back at the fire station. Yep. And now I could sneak in. That's kind of weird. Why did they do it like that? Uh oh. Now we have this piece of meat. The music bugs out too. What the fuck? Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here? All the time? I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Dead? Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Yeah. Good. You may survive yet. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Yeah, you're gonna rat on me? Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object dart, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light invoked is light shed. Uh, did I 
rid of Oriental fans from Bing Dynasty. Um, a picture of phallic like structures all standing in a row. Yeah, damn, someone's to use the ladder somewhere here. The lights are too high up to reach. Well, that didn't work. All right. Okay, I got it. Very good. Perfect. Inquire of the cloth, you make your way back to the house after an exhausting day. All right. Good progress. some bread. I guess I could eat a slice of bread or something. Just put some food in your mouth. True. Got Taco Bell today? Nice. Okay. This mattress is speckled with odd stains. How strange. Alright. Eat a PB and J? Ooh, I might actually have that. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, shit. Uh, you should also talk to your mom during the day, too. Hello, dear. You know those firemen? The funny ones with the color sense? Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Bye. Don't forget to put the paper. Yeah, I know. I won't forget. Okay. Um. Let me give the paper for Jimmy. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep. Yes, sir, Jimmy. Don't want to fuck with Jimmy. Jimmy's got a strap. Chop up Jimmy and get the knife? I don't think it's gonna work. Jimmy's OP. Okay, uh, time to drop off the fucking bolt. Exquisite cloth. Its loss should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. Fine, I'll do it. Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the Order. Yes, I approve, Stephen. I hope you succeed in your task. Break uh, I haven't done that, Sage. Steal the barber's pole. Yeah, this guy's just straight up arcade him. I shall give you your final task. All right. Exquisite. It's. Fuck. Don't be upset. Yeah, let's get out of here. Nightfall descends upon harvest. Perfect. So this one is just night right off the bat. All right. Good. Maybe we could get. To the crazy part of the game. Alright, we gotta be careful. We don't want to get arrested. Be smart about everything. Okay. The barbershop is closed. And 
You know what that means. That's not exactly how a professional would break in. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't actually do that. It gets more crazy? Yes, this game does get crazier. Ladder? Well, that didn't work. Oh, damn it. Well, that didn't work. Use the tape? On what? Oh, maybe you're right, actually. Why do people use electrical tape on glass? I don't get it. Does it make less noise or something? Look at the autograph. Why do you want me to look at the autograph? That fucking sheep. Alright guys, it's time. Wait. Is it alarmed? It might be alarmed. So we gotta disalarm this. Okay, um, what's in here? There is no more lube, guys. Well, that didn't work. something else. Light switch. <gasps> Does the light switch affect the alarm too? I think they were talking about how the light switch and the alarm are on the same button or something. Yeah. We got it. Good progress, guys. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this game just for a little while longer, then we're gonna do a little bit of React Andy. In the chill world. Fuck. We made it to disc two. Press control F4 and left click. All right, disc two. Perfect. Now we save. Okay, disc two.
Well, that didn't work. Oh, talk to mom as always. Did you? The next morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. Fuck. Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. I accidentally skipped. Heavens, if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. That's how it goes. First Jesus you get a Christ. sissy trim, then bang, you're a communist. She's Isn't racist. it exciting, Steve? Five days and 1,200 cookies later, the bake sale is already here. Where does the time fly? Those 1,200 cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about 20. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? Um, I won't miss That's it. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. Ah, oh, parents, dude. Don't you think it's odd? Having a bake sale to pay for burying out-of-towners? Gosh, a hooties. What should we do? Leave them in the streets? Of course we should bury them. But why do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? I have wondered about that, and I think it has something to do with the air. But there's nothing wrong with the air. It's perfectly clean. That's what I mean. Big city folk, they get so used to smog that clean air is a shock to their systems. Gets them every time. Okay. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, did I grab a paper? Sorry, Jimmy. Hold on. No, I have a paper. Where's my paper? Oh, there it is. There now. See how... All right, Jimmy. I know Jimmy will put a cap in my ass. I know. Okay, so now I have to get my final task. Is that all you say? A man was el was electrocuted. Pastorelli's own incompetence caused his unfortunate accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging in the water on the floor? If he hadn't crosswired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive today. True, true, oh, true. You only wanted the bowl, but that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let the French fry where they may. What the fuck? That's not an ar That's not a minor prank. So close. Strange to find a murder so squeamish about a little fire. Harvest grows short. Okay, fine. I'll say and yes. Here's... Need some. Keep my eyes open. My eyes are, are wide open. I just. I don't know. Yes. A barber cut down. Of course. You only wanted the bowl. But that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner. All right, any suggestions? Yes. I, I suggest, suggest you, succeed. you succeed. Beyond that. Okay. I will not fail you, sir. Okay. 
Edna's diner. I have to set fire to it. I mean, I guess everyone will be I at the bake sale now. tonight. I can't talk The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. I've whipped lull. up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. I just wish I could do more to help out those poor bums. How will this sale help bums? Most of the bums that die in harvest lack the money for a good Christian burial. The proceeds from this sale will help Mr. Moynihan provide them with proper burial services. Doesn't it strike you as funny that so many wanderers die in harvest? No, it strikes me as sad. You have an odd sense of humor, Steve. I just heard that Mr. Johnson's tucker was vandalized. You know, though I don't like to think ill of people or take pleasure in the misfortunes of others, I'd like to think it's a comeuppance for all the times that nasty man has bothered me. Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole but didn't think of the consequences. Right. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. That's no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? Agree. I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't believe one of Did those... I, she's actually happened. shitting on my life. It must have been someone else, don't you think? I didn't visit Stephanie since we fucked. That's not a good... That's not a good sign. Oh, fuck. All right. All right. Gotta go say hi to Stephanie. Man, I never called him out on the fact that he fucking buried that girl. Did you say hello to your father for me? Well, I haven't seen him. It's very important. Tell him. Tell him... That I hope he gets better soon, and and don't forget to remind him about his promise regarding the meat. You molested Karen and buried her alive. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! Jesus. It's the truth. That's why. And I think you'd better be going, young man, before I call your mother and tell on you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh, well. Pastorelli won't need it where he is. Poor Pastorelli. Those silly willies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. All the missed dialogue yeah. from each night. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. Yeah, you're right. Stephanie is going to be even worse. Because Stephanie, like, asks you questions about it to see if you're like a... I'm glad to see you. I don't know. We'll see. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah, you'd think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. I mean, they pretty much did. Unhealthy. Almost a parody of how things should be. And through my window at night... I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies, like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week, and then throwing them out. Better that, than getting rid of us. I guess Wait so. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. Dun dun dun. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. 
Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. <gasps> That's another weird thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 produced. What are the odds of that? I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. Any idea who scratched the car? Oh, God. Now it's like... She asks you questions to see if you'll admit it or not. Chat, you tell me, dude. Do I admit it or not? Alright, majority one. Why would you do something like that? It's part of the lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? It's a harmless enough prank. It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. I've heard of worse fraternity initiations. Tell her, Steve. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. You know the firemen? Uh-oh. Someone stole some I have to decide whether or not I want to admit this it. next crime. Alright, guys. One or two. Oh, God. You guys are spamming one, but two is to admit it. Alright. Another harmless prank? And how many more harmless pranks will you be pulling? However many it takes to get in, Stephanie. If I have to use them to escape, then I will. Are you using them? Or are they using you? <gasps> it was just a bolt of cloth. You've turned the firemen against each other. They think one of their own stole it. Would you rather stay here? I've heard that hard. Do I have to tell her about when the leaves turn orange and gold? And the annual blood drive paints the town red. All right, all right. You have a point. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber. Oh no. He's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him. Oh, then left the exposed God. electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in. Flipped on the lights and. Know anything about that? Uh. Oh my god! Steve, that was no little prank! A man died! It was an accident. I forgot about the live wires in the water. I thought it was true. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him! This initiation killed him. Yeah. It was just an accident. An accident which wouldn't have happened if not for the lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest, even you. Fuck. I didn't create this situation. Are you sure? No. But however it started, I'm going to see it through to the end. Vandalism, theft, Manslaughter? What's next, Steve? Murder? Look, I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. I'm fine. A man is dead because of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me, is anything positive going to come out of this lodge initiation crap? Yeah, or escape, hopefully. hopefully. It just seems to me that this order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. No. But maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. You gotta trust is me. Is it true? You found Karen? That's good. Yeah. Just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright. So he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? Your dad. He says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... That thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? All right, well, that was... Come back and visit me. Now she fucking hates me.
Whew. That was a rough conversation. That was a real rough conversation. I don't think I'm gonna be visiting Stephanie anymore. All right. Let's see what's going on at the barber shop. Oh, these guys are still hanging out. Think about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I was one what found Pasquarelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out. His body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together. And the sheep was well done, too. The sheep died, too? Problem is, bulk was burnt so bad. And the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. I could still you hear couldn't it. couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir, I didn't. I tell you, the only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of peas, sissy. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. Jesus Christ. Okay. Nice to see you. I can't talk now, son. I'm busy. All right. Banging if the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating a work of art like that. Well, that's a sure sign that civilization is coming to an end. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zapped. Maybe them aliens it is hot for colored glass after all. All right. Anytime, Steve. Here we go. Um. This could be a good. This could be a good ending point for tonight to continue tomorrow. I don't actually really even know where we're supposed to go right now. But I think this is a good this is a good ending point. Okay. I'm just gonna save and then I'm gonna switch to VR chat. We're gonna do some uh some nice video watching, hanging out. We'll go from there. Dick too. All right, that was good. That was fun. Friday next time. Is it Friday or is it Thursday? I if it's tomorrow, I can't do it. Like I gotta do the event. Well, apparently some people are saying that facial gestures and other 3.0 stuff is not working. Okay, let's see. Sorry, uh, Tupper never responded to my DM. No, no VR chat developer will ever respond to my DM. Uh, yeah, VR chat devs are cringe. Okay, um, I'm gonna just grab something to drink really quick, and then we'll launch VR chat. And we'll go from there. Let me switch my category to VR chat, and um, hanging out with the gang, watching some videos. All right. And while we're doing that, 
Um, Ja, ja, ja. Some peanut butter, some bread. We have some peanut butter sandwiches. That should sustain me. Take an edible, and I'm good to go. Tokes for you, buddy. Thanks, man. This is cool. What is it? Robot Pro Wrestling. All right, I'll check that out too. Someone linked that yesterday. Was it you? Okay, I need to give the voice bug to someone, which means I have to invite. Who are 
our regulars. Where the fuck has um Quinoa been? I'm sexually attracted to Did we lose Quinoa? I miss Shimmy. You miss Shimmy? What am I eating? A peanut butter sandwich. It's a little underwhelming. But I'm just getting the job done. Shrimp, thank you. I miss Shimmy too, now that I think about it. Alright. I'll do it the scumbag way. I'll create the instance and then invite people. And then I'll leave and someone else will get it. Invite Sip. Now what the hell do you think Simp's gonna think I'm inviting Simp to a cozy world? My victim. Right, we'll wait for some people to join. Hey guys, um, thank you everyone, by the way, who hung out tonight. Um, 3k viewers for Harvester is pretty fucking good. Non-VR chat, 3k? That's awesome. Thank you everyone for the support. I, um, I had a very successful meeting in the morning. However, the org that I talked to brought up a very good point to me. They told me that I need to work on my YouTube and my Twitter. They said that I'm not building Rafflegator as a brand. And that I'm building twitch.tv slash Rafflegator. And if I want to build... Rafflegator as a brand, it's not OTK. If I want to build Rafflegator as a brand, then I need to start being a lot better at other social medias and YouTube and stuff like that. Because if Twitch dies tomorrow, then a lot of you guys would never even like know where I would go. So if you do want to support the stream, 